lots were all numbered Before they wandered through the desert For forty long years Numbers This is the story of their journey Before they enter the promised land While in the desert of Paran, the Lord said to Moses, Send some men, one from each family tribe, to explore the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the Israelites. So Moses sent out twelve men to explore Canaan, with the orders to See what the land is like, whether the people who live there are strong or weak, if there are a few or many, and if the land is good or bad. Find out if the cities are like camps or have strong walls and if their soil is fertile for growing food or poor. Do your best to bring back some fruit of the land. While exploring, they cut down a branch with a single cluster of grapes, and they carried it on a pole between two of them. They also brought back pomegranates and figs. After 40 days, they returned back to camp from exploring. Upon returning, the twelve reported back to Moses, Aaron, and the Israelites, showing them the fruit they had collected. They said to Moses, We explored the land, and it is good, as if flowing with milk and honey. The people who live in the land are strong, and the cities are large with strong walls. Then Caleb added, Let's go at once and take the land. But the other explorers said, We're not able to go up against those people. They are so much stronger than us. We're like little grasshoppers compared to them. The Israelites became discouraged at this and cried. They grumbled to Moses and Aaron, If only we had died in Egypt or in this wilderness. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to have us killed by their sword? It would be better if we returned to Egypt. We should choose a leader to take us back to Egypt. At this, Moses and Aaron fell face down. Two of the explorers, Caleb and Joshua, shouted out, The land is exceptionally good. The Lord will lead us into this land, and he will give it to us. Do not rebel against the land. Do not be afraid of the people there, because we will defeat them. The Lord is with us. Do not be afraid. But the Israelites would not listen to Caleb and Joshua. Then the glory of the Lord appeared to all the Israelites at the tabernacle. And the Lord said to Moses, How long will these people treat me with disrespect? How long will they refuse to believe in me in spite of all the signs I have performed? I will strike them down with a plague and destroy them. But I will make you into a nation greater and stronger than they. Moses said to the Lord, By your power, Lord, you rescued these people out of Egypt, and all the surrounding nations know of this rescue. They know of your power. If you destroy them now, what message are you sending? Lord, instead show your strength like you promised. You declared the Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love and forgiving sins, and yet not leaving the guilty go unpunished. Lord, forgive these people of their sin, just as you have continued to forgive them ever since we left Egypt. The Lord replied, I have forgiven them as you asked. Nevertheless, not one of them see the land that I promised them because they have treated me with disrespect. Tell the people I have heard their grumbling and I will do the very thing they asked for, to let them die in the wilderness. Every person who is over 20 years old and who was counted will not enter the land I promised would be your home, except for Caleb and Joshua, who follow me wholeheartedly. For the next 40 years, you will wander in the wilderness. That's one year for every day you spent exploring the land I promised you. The men who had explored the land, those that had discouraged the Israelites with their own fear, were struck down with a plague and died, all except Caleb and Joshua. Before they enter the promised land.